up? It's Cecily from Drive Girl Drive, and I wanted to share a quick tip on um, how to get your promotion or incentive if you feel like you've actually deserved it. <laughs> Deserving it. Anyway, I I always challenge Uber when I feel like for sure I know I did all the trips necessary, the acceptance rate necessary. The um, in Los Angeles, a lot of times our promotions are with an LA core, which is a certain area and map. So I'm always checking to make sure that I accept trips in that area and blah blah blah. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty. Because I've been doing this for a long time and I usually get some sort of incentive, I know when I've got something for sure. And if it's not, if I'm not rewarded, then I'm like, hey, Uber, what's really good? So here are some tips on how to make sure you get your incentive. Number one, make sure that you always drive within the area that they want you to drive in. Make sure it's the correct time of day. Make sure that your acceptance rate is up to par. And I know that, um, because our apps are different in different cities, but the best way to see your acceptance rate across the board is to go to your dashboard. Go to a computer or, you, or bring it up on your in your web browser. The partner dashboard will actually show you what your acceptance rate is for that statement. Now, if you do an instant pay and you pull everything out, then that actually shows as a statement and that's your most current acceptance rate. But let's say you start working the next day, that acceptance rate, changes it's kind of weird so make sure you look at your most recent statement or your most recent or current day to make sure that your acceptance acceptance rate doesn't dip below whatever they specify because uh, I think that's the hardest one for people to gauge um, and um, you know pay attention to the times and things like that I think if you've been doing this job for a while you kind of know that being a newbie it, you do have to be very meticulous on how you go about making money doing Uber Okay, so you did everything you were supposed to do, and guess what? They didn't pay you your bonus. Don't cry about it. Don't cry. The first thing you're going to need to do is you're going to need to write them a note and tell them that they're wrong. Okay, you can find that in the help menu. They actually have an area for um, incentives and promotions and incentives. Uh, the second thing you'll need to do is you need to, you need to take a screenshot of the email of the offer. So if you got, hey, 12 trips, you get $50. You actually need to take a screenshot of that email proving that you actually received that email. Now, all I do it, do it on my phone, I just show my header, the header where it's like to and from and the subject line and usually they have the call to action which is the big, hey, th this is what you could earn, blah, 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 blah. So take a screenshot of that. You don't need the whole email. Secondly, they're going to ask you what is it that you think went wrong. I, hey, I did six, I did 12 qualifying trips on such and such date or break it down like I did six qualifying trips on Friday, on Saturday, on Sunday. Give them all of the details because they're, they're not going to look at this stuff for you. Prove your case. The fourth thing, I think it's fourth thing, I'm going to tell you to do is this. If for some reason, for some reason they don't believe you and they say you didn't qualify, respond to them and say yes I did and give them the trip IDs. You can get the trip ID from your dashboard. It's very tedious. You'll have to go into each job and you'll have to copy and paste it. I would say put it all in like notepad or uh, you know or word or whatever you use um, but copy each one. Also double check that all of your destinations started, your trip started in the required area so that they don't go through it and say, ah, well, it was, you know, trip number five was on the cusp. Make sure that everything really is on the up and up and present all the evidence. And more than likely, when you do that, they will give you your promotion. This has happened to me three times. Now, I always get the promotion. So I usually don't trip. I don't get really nervous about it. But y'all, they're going to have me being kind of nervous because they didn't give me my last two to me. And um, I went back, I did everything I told you to do, and they were like, you're right. And then they give you this tip. Hey, the way that you avoid this from happening again is to rush back to, you know, rush back inside of the designated area to get another trip. And it's like, well, I did do that because I qualified. Because you know that sometimes trips, I always come back, so I don't really know what the deal is. But if you follow those, if you follow those steps, more than likely they will give you your promotion and you can
rest easy. So it all stops. It all starts with proper planning and making sure that you are within adherence to the rules. It's Saturday. I'm using big words.